You guys, I'm going to be doing some light packing today to see what laundry we need to wash, what we need to take to the cleaners, all that jazz. If I need to run to the store and buy anything else, we're about two weeks out. But figured I would record this video as we go. <laughs> Here are the, um, we use packing cubes just because it's easier. You can fit a lot in here. It keeps it more organized. You're not like rummaging through your suitcase trying to find things. I've already set aside some of our toiletries and some other things. Don't mind that. That's laundry that got done the other day and needs to be put away. Here's our two suitcases. But I'm just getting um, the small stuff that I'm not going to wear between now and the cruise set aside. Um, and I will let you guys know everything that I packed when it comes to these things. Right now I'm just putting my swimsuits away. So um, we'll get into these other ones in just a minute. All right guys, here's my closet of <laughs> stuff I need to figure out I wanna pack. I love bringing dresses. I love these little tank top ones from Walmart. Very cheap, they're like $10. Easy to put on, throw on some sandals and you're good to go. I've got some pants I'm gonna bring. Um, I always bring a cardigan or a hoodie or something because I am cold on board the ship. So I will always bring these. Here's some more dresses, some crop tops, some cute little um, things to go over the dress or over other um, articles of clothing. Um, just your plain kind of basic tees in different colors that I love to have. So I can just match with cardigans. I could match with these other pants. I could match with shorts I have. Um, I have some, where are they? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I have some skirts in here. <laughs> oh, here's one. I didn't see the other one, but I have some skirts in here. Um, and then we get back to kind of the fancier um, clothes back here. I do have some dresses that I need to take. Um, I need to take them to get tailored. Um, and then I have some that uh, kind of ripped a little in the front last time. Some dresses I got um, from Tahiti, from Jamaica, on our uh, cruises. So there's that for now. Basically, almost everything I showed you. Now I'm not gonna pack all of that. I know what some of you are probably thinking. No, that's my whole entire closet. Like I'm not, I'm not packing all of that. Um, those of you see this, this is a rack um, for stuff for my business. I will be bringing um, this. And then I have gym clothes that I need to bring and all that jazz. So we'll get into all of this. I just thought I'd briefly show you. Yeah, we need to get a bookshelf. So, you know, don't. Don't judge me. Okay, this is like our spare bedroom. We don't stay in this bed because uh, the AC and heater sucks in this room. It sucks. So we moved to the other room so we could have some decent air conditioning and heating. Also, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is my husband's additional rack. This is how he kind of organizes his clothes for the week for work. So he has them all in his side of the closet as well, but then he organizes what he's gonna wear by the week um, here for work because obviously his work clothes and casual clothes are two different things. So those of you who have husbands or boyfriends or if you're a man watching this, here's what my Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. So he's got his, these are his work suits. He's got some work shirts. Oh, well, this is a fun shirt. Um, he's got a lot of fun shirts, a lot of cruising shirts because we just love these fun ones and almost everywhere we go he gets one. It's from Jamaica. His Tahiti one's in the washer. Um, so he's just got lots of fun, um, you know, kind of cruise ones that he's always, always wearing on the cruise. Uh, then he's got some of his fancier ones, his, all of his, um vests some beachy kind of shorts he's got um and his fancier Cole Haan uh tailored suits back there he's got some hats up here 
Um, there's all of his ties because it's just a mess down there. Um, yeah, so right now, like I said, I'm just going to start packing this stuff um, away that I'm not going to wear between now and then. I just got some things from... You guys, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? Sheen, Shine, Shein, whatever. I got two items from that. I'll show you that as I pack them away. All right, you guys. So here is one of these skirts. I actually got this one at Target. This is like a beachy cover-up, so it is going to go in my pack I showed you guys earlier that has my swimsuits. And now the two things I got from Sheen shine i'm gonna say sheen okay because look at how it's spelled like who says like what sheen shine whatever so i got this um kind of fun button up i don't have anything you know like this like um other than my dresses I'm like, I don't have any fun beachy kind of like shirts and stuff like my husband does. Um, and, and part of me kind of was like, well, I need to find girl ones. But no, I don't. I can wear a men's one. Who freaking cares? Nobody cares. And then I got this skirt. And forewarning all you guys who shop on Sheen or eventually will shop, whatever. I read the reviews on this and nobody, nobody mentioned this. Okay. Um... <laughs> I got it because I was like, it's so cute. All the photos showed one slit, right? One, not two. It also, they had their leg out, right? So it looked like the slit was like mid thigh. Uh, no, no, it goes all, <laughs> goes all the way to the top. So um, I'll be bringing some little spandex shorts to wear underneath that so I don't show everybody everything okay and this is also going to go in my swimsuit little uh packing cube so that is pretty much full we'll get that shut and in my suitcase for now i'm sorry you guys that this is going to be kind of a long video or i could break it up into two videos we'll see i forgot to show you guys these i actually do have a few of these this one i did buy in tahiti some of them I have bought um, on uh, like locations we've gone to, ports we've gone to. I have bought some. I have them in there. But I loved this one from Tahiti. So I'm going to be bringing this as well. It's not see-through. So it doesn't have to be like exclusively something to wear over a swimsuit. Um, you can wear it probably walking around port and all that jazz. Just obviously depending on the cruise ship, this may or may not be acceptable in certain dining um, places. So I'm going to put that in here where all my other dresses and um, skirts and stuff will go. So I'll start packing them in here and then I'll show you guys really just how much of everything I have fit in here. Because this one over here has two skirts. A cover up the shirt I showed you like four swimsuits and some random extra stuff I could shove in there and I still probably could shove a few more things in here if I really wanted to but for now we're gonna leave it like that good morning everyone we are seven eight days eight days away from cruising I think it is we leave a day prior so we only have we leave next Saturday morning so we have exactly a week. Um, I'm coming back to finish the packing video for you guys. Um, I'm not going to re-watch the ones I already recorded. So I apologize if I repeat myself. I'll try to also tell you guys what is like a must-have or that I refuse to travel without. Um, honestly, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I am an overpacker and I would rather have too much then have not enough but with that i will say i'm very aware of how much i'm bringing so i have never gone over the weight limit for flying 
So if we do fly to a port, we always ensure we are weighing our bags ahead of time. So that way we're kind of aware like, okay, our bag weighs 42 pounds. We can't go over the 50 pounds, but we're done packing, so we're good. Um, if you're going to bring um, wine or energy drinks and stuff like that on board, what we do, don't buy it at home and try to bring it on the plane. Just buy it when you get in into your, you know, wherever you're flying into, the port that you're going to. Just buy it when you get there and then carry it on the ship. Then you don't have to worry about... Oh my gosh, I have two bottles of wine and a 12 pack that already weighs 10 pounds. And now, you know, you might go over your weight limit. Another thing I'm not sure that I mentioned, we bring a tiny carry-on that is empty. Because um, on the plane, usually when we fly and we buy our tickets and we book and all that jazz, we each bring a checked bag. We each bring a carry-on and a personal item sadly sometimes they count my purse as like a third item so they make me stuff it in my freaking backpack or something but luckily my husband usually only travels with one so he just brings them both on but uh this time we're not flying so we don't have to worry about that but what we do is we bring an empty one so that way when we're coming back everything that we bought goes in the empty suitcase we don't have to worry about oh we can't stuff it in our big suitcase or oh now we're gonna go over the weight limit for the airline like no just bring an empty one so you don't have to worry about that and just everything that you buy put it in your little empty carry-on um it has been a few days since i did the previous packing videos so that's why i said i'm not 100 percent sure what i mentioned here and what i didn't mention I'm about to head to the post office really quick to drop off dresses that I bought for my niece. Um, and then when I come back, I'm going to finish up the packing and show you guys exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing. Um, the wines that I'm going to bring on board as well as the energy drinks and stuff. And since we are not flying, I'm just going to pack those ahead of time just so it's already taken care of. And I don't have to worry about that. Again, though, your drinks and your wine, whatever it is that you're bringing, must be carried on to the ship. Don't put it in your checked bag. Um, just um, carry it on and you'll be fine. So what we're going to do there, again, so we don't have to worry about shoving it in there. Usually we'd put it in a backpack, but since we're going to bring computer, camera, GoPro, all that jazz, we won't have room in the backpack. So that tiny carry-on that we're going to bring that's usually empty i'm going to put the wine and the sodas and energy drinks in there carry that on board and then that'll be emptied out when we get to the room because we're going to drink the energy drinks the wine and all that jazz and we'll still have our empty carry-on for the things that we do buy so i'll see you guys in just to show you guys the others um i do have this is another one that I bought, but I think I bought this one off Amazon <laughs> um, because I wanted some to wear when I went to Tahiti. Um, this one was an Amazon one, and I believe this one also was. So I won't be bringing these, but then this was my other um, one from Tahiti. I'll just show you kind of part of it, just so you guys can see um, this one. But yeah, I won't be bringing all these other ones. I'll probably just stick to th that one because I really like that one. And then I have some little crop tops that I'd probably wear um, with that. Also, you guys, as weird as it sounds, sometimes like I'm one of those people that my tiny little, uh, the little tank top dresses I get from Walmart, those I more so wear around the ship. But when I get off at port or when we're going to go to dining, I wear like uh, like a better kind of dress. Um, one that's a little fancier than a plain tank top one from Walmart. Or just one that is just going to look a little cuter or be a little better for walking around the island than the ship. Um, and then I have obviously some even fancier ones that those are the ones I wear on formal night or those are the ones I wear just um, 
for for dinners um so yeah i do have one dress i need to get um fixed because it's like a v cut in the front and it kind of ripped open so i'll just have her so that and just some little tips for those of you who have significant others family members or kids or whatever that aren't the best at packing or never remember what to pack literally what i do is i write the list myself of everything i know i'm going to need and everything i know my husband is going to need and i let him choose the items he chooses them all but i write down like oh you're going to need six shirts six workout shorts two swim trunks you're going to need you know whatever and then he goes down the list and packs it all chooses it all himself but that helps a lot because he's not a planning person he's not a packing person like honestly if i left it up to him to pack um we'd probably go to the cruise with only half the things we needed <laughs> or you know he'd forget majority of this stuff like we wouldn't have the things that we would need on a cruise um so that's that's just what i do and then usually i help i kind of help him pack if he needs help or if he wants to use his packing cubes or like he'll bring me all the pants and i'll pack them in the cubes for him and then i'll pack them in the suitcase um because he kind of like i like to shove things in all the extra areas um whereas he'll kind of sometimes be like oh it doesn't fit and i'm like yes it does you just have to kind of play tetris a little bit in the suitcase and it'll all fit um we usually also bring like two to three pairs of shoes each so like we have you know getting pretty good at this packing thing but that's what i do um with him to just make it easier on him as well as on me <laughs> so i'm gonna go grab the other stuff all right here's two more dresses these are pretty much it when it comes to the beachy ones besides the one that i need to get fixed um and then we'll move on to the walmart ones and some pants and maybe an even fancier dress for our night in the main dining room i just need to make sure it still fits me so there's that part <laughs> also you guys as weird as it sounds sometimes like i'm one of those people that my tiny little uh the little tank top dresses i get from walmart those i more so wear around the ship but when i get off at port or when we're gonna go to dining i wear like uh like a better kind of dress um one that's a little fancier than a plain tank top one from walmart or just one that is just gonna look a little cuter or be a little better for walking around the island than the ship um and then i have obviously some even fancier ones that those are the ones i wear on formal night or those are the ones i wear just um for for dinners um so yeah i do have one dress i need to get um fixed because it's like a v cut in the front and it kind of ripped open so i'll just have her so that and just some little tips for those of you who have significant others family members or kids or whatever that aren't the best at packing or never remember what to pack literally what i do is i write the list myself of everything i know i'm going to need and everything i know my husband is going to need and i let him choose the items he chooses them all but i write down like oh you're going to need six shirts six workout shorts two swim trunks you're going to need you know whatever and then he goes down the list and packs it all chooses it all himself but that helps a lot because he's not a planning person he's not a packing person like honestly if i left it up to him to pack um we'd probably go to the cruise with only half the things we needed <laughs> or you know he'd forget majority of this stuff like we wouldn't have the things that we would need on a cruise um so that's that's just what i do and then usually i help i kind of help him pack if he needs help or if he wants to use his packing cubes or like he'll 
bring me all the pants and I'll pack them in the cubes for him and then I'll pack them in the suitcase. Um, because he kind of, like, I like to shove things in all the extra areas. Um, whereas he'll kind of sometimes be like, oh, it doesn't fit. And I'm like, yes, it does. You just have to kind of play Tetris a little bit in the suitcase and it'll all fit. Um, we usually also bring like two to three pairs of shoes each. So like we have, you know, getting pretty good at this packing thing. But that's what I do. Um with him to just make it easier on him as well as on me so i'm gonna go grab the other stuff all right here's two more dresses these are pretty much it when it comes to the beachy ones besides the one that i need to get fixed um and then we'll move on to the walmart ones and some pants and maybe an even fancier dress for our night in the main dining room. I just need to make sure it still fits me. So there's that part. <laughs> All right, so here's my three Walmart ones. I'm gonna bring a black one, a dark blue one, and a light blue one. I have a purple one, I have a green one and all that, but I don't know why I just wanted to bring these three. So these are also going to go in this packing cube uh, right here and again I'll show you guys in just a moment just how much because I have so far everything I've showed you the tank top the um, dress I mean the skirt I got from Tahiti this dress the last two dresses I just showed you and these three that I'm about to fit in here and probably still have room for more so usually what i do to kind of be able to shove more in it is partially zip it so you know kind of like how much more space you have and how much more you can really just like stuff um stuff in there so we've got these three and then i'm going to go look at my other clothes really quick and see what else I can shove in here all right you guys here's a white shirt and I know we're kind of playing dangerous games with white clothing but um, that's really all that will work with some of these skirts and stuff that I have I'm not sure this is gonna fit me but you know we're gonna try it anyways and now I'm still in that same packing cube <laughs> that I showed you guys. A lot of these um, items are very easy to squish together when it comes to these clothes. Um, I have a navy blue shirt, a black crop top that still has the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. Um, I actually recently bought that and then this skirt usually is what's worn with that navy shirt we have fit all of that in there and I probably could fit another top or two so I'm gonna go grab that and also one way to pack lighter if you don't want to pack like me is find things that you can wear two different colored shirts with the same bottoms um, or these two shirts you can also wear with another one of your bottoms um, my closet doesn't quite work like that just yet so I'm working on um, getting that stuff taken care of but these are my pants they're very nice and light and flowy because I've been uh, bulking the last eight months so nothing fits me <laughs> um, so I went and got some of those lighter style joggers from Target I will not be attempting to put those in there, but these two shirts are very small, very lightweight. So these are going to go right here in the corner of this to fill up this packing cube. So we're done with this cube. We're going to move on to the next cube. That's going to include those pants and some cardigans and my dressier um dress for our for our dinner at Giovanni's um 
This is Stacy. She loves attention. I mean, who doesn't? But she's like over the top with the amount of attention she needs. Anyways, we're going to get that stuff going. And I will run out of packing cubes. Happens every time. So then everything else, like gym clothes that I don't care about as much, just get stuffed in there. Same with socks and all that jazz. Just gets kind of stuffed where, where it fits. Here is one of the cardigans I'm going to bring. I haven't decided if I'm going to bring a second cardigan or not. I'll probably bring a hoodie because some of the times I'll be... <laughs> I'll be in regular clothes, um, so we'll we'll see about bringing um, a hoodie or another cardigan. Um, now I'm gonna get my fancy dress and put that in there, and we'll see how that goes. All right, you guys. Here's one of my dresses that I'll be wearing, which means I have to pack some all black. Um, flats i do have kind of tiny heels to wear with this but i probably won't be bringing them on this trip um those of you that don't know i had foot surgery um on both feet five and six years ago so you know fun stuff um it makes it almost impossible to wear any kind of heel so the ones that i do have is like a little two inch heel but honestly um i'm probably just gonna wear some flats with this, I'll wear that for dinner at Giovanni's since that is the specialty dining. Um, well, either, well, Giovanni's, I think I scheduled it for formal night. So we'll probably just, yeah, wear, wear that for Giovanni's and the formal night. And then wear kind of something uh, more regular the other nights. So that cube is done. This one's gonna have socks and underwear, so my workout clothes um, will be kind of just everywhere. Um, those though I'm not gonna pack yet because I wear those a lot. So I'll need to do laundry. So that's basically it for now. Um, see you guys. All right guys, like I mentioned, workout clothes don't get a packing cube. So I'm just going to set them over here. This is not all of it because, like I said, I have stuff that needs to go in the laundry. I have stuff that I'm going to wear between now and then. Um, I always bring some sort of little shorts or sweatpants for around the cabin. Um, obviously, it's just me and my husband. So, like, I mean, I could just wear whatever. But um, sometimes I just like to wear you know, little shorts or whatever. Um, so I'm going to put those in here. Um, I basically only wear like sports bras. I'm just not, ugh. I always have a hard time finding regular bras. It's just a freaking mess. They're so uncomfortable. They don't, they never fit right. So like, it's just easier to just, um, wear these all of my fancier dresses though usually i'll either just suck it up and wear one for that or um they come with like built-in padding or whatever so i'm gonna get together the socks the underwear all that jazz to put in here and then other than the stuff that needs to get altered and washed and obviously our documents like passport, all that jazz. If we have anything like jewelry that we're going to wear or watches and stuff like that, those stay in their little case and go in the bag. However, we're going to put them in there. And then I just have to pick a pair of, uh, I'm going to bring my tennis shoes, my sandals, and then a dressier pair of shoes. So kind of figure that out as we go as well. So Again, goodbye for now. <laughs> hey, you guys, I mean, who doesn't pack their stuff on the floor? Okay, so I am sitting on the floor right now. Just showing you the small little things that I'm bringing. This is, oh, it's really small. You know, I thought it was going to be bigger. But this is our cruise approved, non-surge protected um, outlet thing. So that way we can have more because 
we bring laptop, camera, GoPro, cell phones, you know, the whole nine. So we need extra stuff in the cabin. We, um, if you guys watched my things to find at the dollar store, I grabbed a lot of things from there. So we each have a toothbrush holder. We have all the Kleenex. Our little Q-tip holder. Uh, itchy cream because... <laughs> Some places you might get bit by mosquitoes, so itchy cream, motion sickness, we've never needed it, but you know, I guess it's good to have, or maybe if somebody else on the cruise needs it, we've got some. Uh, my husband, this is what my husband uses, so there's his baby wipes. Okay, they say flushable, but I'm letting you know now you cannot flush these on the cruise ship. I don't even flush my baby wipes at home. I put them in the freaking trash can. We use baby wipes for all sorts of stuff, but mainly, you know, going to the bathroom. So we always um, also, I would recommend you guys get this and bring, get out of here and um, bring it with you in the port because some ports we've gone to, the bathrooms are just not, not like your home, you know. And some of them actually have a person sitting outside that hands you toilet paper. So you might want to put a pack or two of these, depending on how many people you're traveling with, in your backpack when you leave the ship. Ah, these are our luggage tags that will actually be attached to our luggage with our tags from Royal Caribbean that I printed out. Um, bringing our own nail clippers my husband prefers these for flossing so we just bring a whole bunch of these I've got our metal clips that I got from the dollar store I'll let you guys know how those work post cruise okay we bring full-size sunscreen and aloe because you can never have too much of this and I fear that with a tiny one we're gonna run out of it in a day so we bring all of that and then here is the majority of everything else I got these little guys at the dollar store these that I filled up at the dollar store more head and shoulders for my husband um, my tanning oil a bigger thing of sanitizer and this tiny deodorant that tiny deodorant is not for my arms okay I kind of forgot the other day when I was walking around town in my skirt I mean my dress I was wearing one of those Walmart ones I showed you guys my dress and um I didn't realize like hey maybe I should have wore little shorts underneath these so I got you know some chub rub whatever you want to call it okay and that was horrible so I bought some deodorant for that if you guys have a better thing for that, um, please let me know because I'm not sure how well the deodorant's going to work. And I'd rather not wear little shorts underneath my dress every single day, but I will if I have to. So that's what I've got going on so far. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get my Walmart dresses and the stuff that I won't wear between now and then. I will show you guys the GoPro and all of our accessories, the camera, everything I'm going to bring for that um, will be packed in the bag as well. And you guys will honestly be surprised how much stuff I can fit in the suitcase because I'm an overpacker. I will pack anything and everything I think I could possibly need on the cruise and then some because I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. So that's just my personal philosophy okay so we bring one big suitcase each and then we bring a little kind of carry-on sized um oh ooh, the dog hair empty we bring that empty so that way the things that we buy on board if we can't somehow shove them into our suitcase we put it in the tiny carry-on so we don't have to worry about that on the plane. We don't have to worry about going overweight in the big bags. And we don't have to worry about, you know, trying to stuff it somewhere when the cruise is over. So 
just so you guys know, I'm probably going to speed up a lot of my packing stuff. So I was talking during that, but if it's not important, I'm probably just going to speed through it. But I showed you guys the other day our packing list. Looks a little hectic. Yeah, and then our to-do list and then the dog's packing list. So I'm a super big uh, list person, if you haven't uh, gathered that already, just because it's so much easier. You're not going to forget things. I mean, obviously, sure, you could forget to put things on the list, but usually when that occurs, I just write it on the list. So I go over this list so many times that there's nothing I, I can forget at this point because we've gone over it and we've probably added about five or six things since we started. Um, my husband actually brought up one of them because I wrote like his stuff that he needed, like his suits and all of that jazz. But in my head, suit means like everything. You're grabbing tie, grabbing, you know, whatever the heck you need for to complete your suit. Um, but he needed to remind himself that he needed his belt because his belt he wears to work every day. He really needs to get like two more. But so he needs to pack that. But he goes to work tonight until oh, he won't be home probably until around nine o'clock at night. So we had to put that on the list just to remind him not to forget the belt. Um, and, and then we had our to-do list of like, oh, got to get the car washed. Got to make sure I order the internet for the cruise because I'm going to school still online. Um, you know, so we had to switch our onboard expense account, all that jazz. So, yeah. All right, guys, I brought everything back, okay? So, you'd be surprised all the things I shoved in here. So that's done. But there are some things that, of course, wouldn't fit in here, like the Aleve and the Zyrtec, my stuff for my feet. For those of you who don't know, I had surgery on my feet about six years ago, and um, ever since then, it's been worse. So, um, I used that cream. I have no idea what the heck it is, but... When my feet start to really hurt um, where the surgery was done at, I rub a very little bit of it on there and doesn't hurt. So, don't know what it is, don't know how it works like that, but good to go. But, for those of you who have feet problems like me as well, um, I'm also going to let you know the hot tub is your friend. Um, when we did Disneyland one day, we had walked like 30,000 steps and literally by the end of the day I was walking like an old lady. Like, I should have had a wheelchair or something um, at that point. But uh, I soaked my feet in the hot tub, like, for like 30 minutes the, um, that night. And then took a break the morning half of the next day. And then we went back to Disneyland the following evening. <sighs> my shorts are still in the washer. I had a pair of shorts that I'm testing out, for those of you that also don't know um which i usually don't really like crisscrossing brands but um i sell athletic clothing i have my own brand for that um and i was testing some new shorts with a pattern on it so i washed those by themselves because i didn't want the colors to leak onto any other clothes if that were the case so i washed them by themselves and i forgot to put them in the dryer but those are ones i wanted to wear on the ship but so other than that pair we're good to go clothes wise I have my sandals in there. He doesn't have his sandals in there. I have my dress shoes in there. Um, the wine. Here we go. Let's talk about that. So, I don't really like wine, but I like Stella Rosa, which I get. Those of you who are wine connoisseurs or aficionados or whatever the word is, I know it's not like want like it's not high-end so I get that but it's delicious okay so what I'm bringing is the Stella Rosa black because I really enjoy when it comes to the red wine or dark whatever the heck I like this one 
when it comes to the sangria because i didn't try the other one until yesterday and i had already bought these so i won't be bringing that one on the ship but i really like that one so i'll tell you what it is this one though was really good for the sangria and a lot of people were recommending going to the buffet getting all the fruits and stuff bringing it back to the room chilling the wine and then putting the fruits in the thing thing so that's what i'm gonna do so the stella rosa peach flavor it's really good for the sangria i did it here at home with like strawberries blueberries peaches raspberry i don't think i put raspberries in it i think i put a different fruit in it but it was good for that now the one that i will say so far is my favorite when it comes to the white wine for stella rosa is stella pink i tried that for the first time yesterday that was me. Next up is the Monsters. I have not fulfilled my 12 yet. Like I said, I'll get that down there. But it's about a four pack of this one. This is probably my favorite or one of my favorites. And then I got two of the chaotic ones. One of this one. I wanted the grape, but they didn't have the grape. Um, so these are going to go in here. Just right next to the wine to keep those you know uh nice and firm um in there we'll put some on top of the wine as well just to make traveling with it a little easier because i want to if i can fit the gopro or the camera or something in here um Here's that stuff. So here's the case with the camera and everything. Here's the case, the GoPro stuff. Um, probably for the sake of electronics, probably put the GoPro in there. And I'll try to shove the camera in the backpack. So the GoPro fits in there. I'm actually going to put these down here to make the GoPro kind of even with the uh, wine here. And uh, then I'll have room to shove my uh, uh, other things uh, up top here. We're bringing these drink mixes for our water uh, just because it just, you know, helps us drink more water. So then this is going in there. This is for the GoPro. Um, and I should be able to fit all the rest of our um, drinks in here because I'm only going to get uh, sodas. So those don't take up much space. So we're gonna leave that the way that it is. And then now we've got our backpack, our big, backpack which um I'm gonna take that out of there anything that's in here currently is going to basically come out and the camera I think will fit what in the world is in here Sour strips and baby wipes. And hand sanitizer. I'm not sure why these things were in there. My husband uses this backpack more than me, so, um, and a tiny granola bar. Okay, well, we'll keep the wipes and sanitizer in there and his pencils. Um, the laptop is gonna go here. My school stuff is gonna go in here. My pencil and pens and stuff is gonna go in here. Oh, there's already some pencils and stuff in there, but that's all right. Now for the camera. 
Oh, I'm also putting the masks in here because even though we don't need them anymore, terminal, um, you just never know. So those are all going in there. We will either put a uh, gym clothes in here or just wear our gym clothes. So. Not sure if it's gonna fit. So we're gonna unbuckle those. I swear we put it in here before. I'm just not sure if we did it without the uh, laptop or. There we go. It's gonna be one big backpack, all right. But we can fit quite a bit of other things in here if we absolutely need to. Here's my packing list. It looks hectic, but I mean, don't wanna forget anything. You don't wanna spend extra money. You don't wanna, you know, and if you're like us and you go to the gym and all that, then obviously we're gonna have extra things on here because of all the stuff we need to go um, to the gym. So there's that for now. All right, you guys. It is Friday morning. We leave tomorrow morning. So, kind of a busy day today. I So, we're basically done packing. From where I left off yesterday is all we need is our last minute things. Um, stuff we're going to be using obviously tonight and tomorrow morning that we need to pack away. Um, I have to get the dogs ready. That's the majority of what's going to happen today is Mimi needs a bath. Rocco needs a bath. Stacy got groomed yesterday, so Stacy doesn't need a bath. I'll show ya. Come here, Stacy girl. Ha ha! She got groomed. Um, but yeah, so Mimi, the little old chihuahua is gonna get a bath today and Rocco who probably hasn't had a bath in like three months is <laughs> gonna get a bath um he loves the bath so it's actually quite easy to bathe him um just sometimes he'll jump out of the tub and then he'll jump right back in the tub so it's easy to get him back in the tub it's just sometimes hard to stop him from jumping out prematurely so, um, and then I have to pack together all of their things. So we usually have a printout for the Rover people. So we've already done a meet and greet. That's usually what we always do with a Rover. We do a meet and greet, you know, make sure everybody's good with everybody. Um, check out the house and all that jazz. Um, and, but we have a printout just in case things arise or, or or they may not remember what we talked about and things like that especially because Mimi um is diabetic so she gets insulin twice a day and her and Stacy um eat the same food together and they only get you know a certain amount Rocco just does whatever so I'm tired guys but I gotta pack up all their stuff so Water dish, food dish, all the food, a few of their toys. The girls' kennel has a bed in it and blankets in it. So I gotta pack all that up. Rocco's kennel is a little broken, so I have to ensure we have all the carabiner clips and the 550 cord because we usually have to, you know, obviously tear down the kennel to get it in the car, set it up when we get there, 550 cord all the kind of corners and top of the kennel so that way he can't, um, knock it down because that's how he had gotten out one time he had knocked it down I think the back or something and that's how he um, got out of the kennel um, yeah basically just last minute stuff um, I gotta go get my eyebrows done I have to take my sister-in-law to the auto shop because she dropped off her car the other day um, but then they said they needed to keep it for a few days and they might actually need to send it somewhere else. So she needs to get some things out of the car. 
Um, so I'm going to take her to do that this morning after I wash these dogs. Um, probably do some light cleaning around the house just so it's not terrible when we come back home from our vacation to a, you know, semi-clean house. The laundry's all done. The dishes are all done. So at least, you know, that uh, we're good there. Um, oh, our COVID test. We have to do that today. Well, we can do it tomorrow, but I'm going to do mine today just to be on the safe side. Um, he'll either do his tonight when he gets off work or early in the morning or before we leave on Saturday. So just thought I'd give you guys a quick update of what's going on and how hectic sometimes things can be a day or two before you leave for your vacation. I'm back with the last minute packing. Okay, so there was a few things, no, there was a few things that uh, were in the washer and dryer. Um, there's still uh, some like the sodas and stuff I need to get, but I'm probably just going to get that when we get down to our hotel. And then obviously our last minute things like toothbrush, deodorant, all the stuff we're going to need to get ready in the morning before we leave. That's not going to get packed until we're done using it. Um, so I'm going to be doing the last bit of packing um, that, you know, requires me to... It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. So I freaking almost forgot that the dog had to go to the groomers this morning. So I woke up like immediately and just grabbed her and left. <laughs> uh, then I went to go to the car wash. Probably one of the worst car washes I've ever been to and the vacuum cleaners sucked. They didn't pick up a single thing in the car. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm leaving. I'll either go buy a vacuum or I'll go to another car wash, whatever. Um, the water that came out of the car wash was not enough to wash off all the soap. So when it dried, now there's like streaks of soap all over the freaking car. Um, I don't know how it has such high reviews, but whatever. And then I went to go to the dry cleaners to get my husband's stuff that he uses for work so that way we don't have to worry about that when we get back then i went to office depot to print off um the kind of instructions or notes for the rover lady then i went and got lunch <laughs> then when i came home and opened the door there were like these little like centipede looking things all over the floor just like right inside the door that was weird and gross so I killed them all and then I killed the two little spiders that were in the closet and then then I went to Lowe's to get spray so I don't have to deal with these dang bugs I, whatever you guys do, never buy the bug spray that comes with the sprayer because it never works. It's like the third one we have bought and um, it just never works. So what I did was I filled my old bottle of disinfectant um, with the bug spray and I used that to spray the outside. <sighs> I have to now finish packing the rest of my stuff that came from the washer and the dryer. I still need to get my eyebrows done. I haven't decided on if I'm going to do fake nails or just um, get these cleaned up. I still need to shave my legs. I got a haircut, so we're good there. Um... I need to pack up the electronics um, to figure out where all that stuff's going to fit. I'm going to kind of re-look at my husband's thing because when he...
when he packed his suits and stuff, he put them in, of course, laying down, and then he put it upright, which means they all fell to the bottom. So, um, I'm going to kind of redo some things so that way his suits kind of sit on the top and are kind of buckled in a little bit because his case has like one of those little kind of buckles. Um, so that way they'll stay in place and that won't happen and that way hopefully they won't be as wrinkled as they're going to be. So, yeah, stressful day today. And this little one is the one that's always trying to join me. She went to the groomers today, so that's little Stacy. Her nickname is Peanut. Ah, Peanut! She just wants to be wherever we are. Um, and she wants all the attention in the world, so. Also, those of you who are wondering, when we get on the ship, I'll kind of show you guys how we unpack uh we do in a sense unpack everything but uh not uh sorry i got a phone call in the middle of that we don't like fully fully unpack but we do unpack i don't really know if that makes sense everything's like out of the suitcase but usually everything's kept in the little packing cubes or if it needs to be hung up, it gets put in the closet and stuff so that way we can see everything. So we're not like, oh, we forgot to wear that outfit because it was still in the suitcase or whatever. So I'll show you guys that when we get there. Also, I don't know if I showed you, this is the little hanging toiletry bag we got. Um, not sure if it's actually gonna be of use to us, kind of like I explained to you guys before, but I'm gonna bring it with us and try it out. I got some magnetic hooks. Now these are smaller than I thought they were gonna be, but they'll do the job. Um, I got, I don't know if I showed you guys this like little first aid thing. I'm gonna put like our pills and stuff in. Get off the clothes. No, move, get off. Get off the clothes. That was Stacy. But yeah, I'm gonna put like, you know, the Aleve, the Excedrin, the Band-Aids, whatever the heck we decide to bring in there. And then I also got this handy dandy passport holder and thing. Hopefully it fits inside my purse, but I'm gonna shove our passports in there, our IDs, um, the vaccination cards, all that's going in this thing. So that way I don't really have to um, keep track of where everything is. It's all in here. So I, um, it looks like it'll fit in my purse because my wallet is like as long as this. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to put all this stuff in there now and then I'll show you guys as I get all the electronics as well. All right, guys, I just finished my COVID test. Negative, so I'm good to go. Um, that test was, like, really easy. Um, but fair warning, ensure that your webcam is either one you can hold and move around or that your laptop's webcam is on the top, not the bottom. I didn't realize that my husband's laptop's webcam is on the bottom, down by the keyboard, not up at the top. They have to be able to see what you're doing the whole entire time. So I had to like position up his laptop all weird for her to see it and try to do it all with one hand at the same time. But it was doable, you know. Uh, very quick, easy, painless. Um, when I saw videos of people getting this stuff done at like a testing site or from their doctor, man, y'all was getting Q-tips shoved like all the way into your brain, okay? 
This thing says just to shove it like half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So literally like, he, like it really was not. Uh, you don't have to jam it up there like just stick it, um, you know, like in here and just swab both sides. Um, it really wasn't hard or anything. And then you just wait 15 minutes for the person to come and confirm your results and bada bing bada boom we're good to go just my husband has to do his when he gets home tonight so yeah but we're good we leave tomorrow morning